Good morning. Look at that sunlight. That's some serious sunlight. Gracious. Hi, everybody. Mm. That, that's some... <laughs> Here comes the sun. Da, 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 da. We are we are super backlit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we, we love dynamic range here. <laughs> Not that you would know about that. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Uh, thank you for the high P train. It is, in fact, our first breakfast stream um, in the new place. So high. What you can't see is the sun is blocking out a bunch of boxes. Mm, I don't know that they would be able to see the boxes. But yeah, it's, it's, uh, there's light. It's fine. It's fine. Um, hey y'all. Hope, hope y'all are, hope y'all are doing, uh, doing pretty, pretty good this morning. Hey Brett. Morning. Morning. And thanks. I mean, it's a rental, but I will take congrats on the moving process because moving is um, the worst. The worst thing in the the, the world. <laughs> so I'll take congrats on moving because moving sucks. <laughs> I again, and I said this on Friday, but I want to continue to give a thank you um, to our our friends in the area because they've been like extremely instrumental in getting things accomplished. Josh is helping me today. Yeah? I turned off my left because I'm eating crunchy. So, okay. <laughs> I don't know how well you can hear, but that's it's fine. Um, yeah, so last night Brandon was here and, oh, hi, buddy. Come on up. Come on. Hey, come here. Jump down. Come on. Or or return to whence you came. Um, oh no, I lost the cranberry. Oh, they can still hear you. But like on my mic. Uh, yeah, last night Brandon came over and built a couch. Like some other things, but built the couch. So upstairs is actually coming together um we should be in our our new normal setup on thursday so this is not the normal setup this is downstairs um but the uh we should be in the new place at, or the new spot on thursday i would think so yeah i'm excited about it i'm really excited about it anyway uh there's a lot there's a lot to read let me um let me read it. We got 56 months from LHMS 1704. Uh, five gift subs from Anonymous to Gabrian, Everkai 8, Shadow Blitz 902, Solilium, and Siraj 182. Thank you, Anonymous. 19 months from Traveler of the Wild, 33 months from Jace Book, 14 months from Anime 1911, 40 months from Chill Days, 50 from Penguin Frog, 16 from Moth Sarcophagus, 23 from Joe WTG, 30 from Vagabond, 49 from Pseudobite, 23 from Will Peters, 34 from Ivar. Uh, DJ Kaizo gifted a sub to Rand337. Vagabond gifted a sub to Malye. 17 months from DJ Kaizo. Uh, 31 months from The Great Perhaps. 52 months from Lunagazer806. 5 months from Sapphire C. 35 months from Grandson Brambo. 9 months from Prelio7. Uh, 39 months from Twilight Cat24. Uh, 48 months from We Win. Congrats on the four. Yeah, no games on the shelves as of yet. That'll be the very last thing. There's one. Oh, wait. Okay. There is one game on the shelf. There is one video game on the shelf upstairs. It is because we wanted a game to know how tall to make the shelves. It is, it is Zelda. The video game adaptation of the film Elf. So Zelda, yes, yes. Um, it's a it's a Wii U copy of Breath of the Wild. <laughs> and again, that was just chosen. Like I opened the first box in front of me, 
and it was Wii U something, and I grabbed the game that was on top, and it was Breath of the Wild. So it, there's no thought given to that. It was just, I need a video game, and that was the video game that showed up. So. Neat. Uh, 56 months from Team Valenstorm. Uh, 300 bits from Belladonna Prince who says, My little sister is graduating from Virginia Tech next week. She is getting her master's degree and the whole family is excited. Awesome. Congratulations to your, uh, to your sister. Very, very cool. Yeah, master's degree is hard. You gotta go to school and then when everyone else is like, we're done, you have to go, oh, I have to, I have to keep going to school. So congratulations to her. Uh, Vegetable Sorbet gifted three subs to Kyle Jensen 8. Uh, Malachi DeLupus and Pickletron. Thank you, Vegetable. Cheese Hammer gifted a sub to Hello Darkness, my old friend. Cheese Hammer, you're out of the box. Yeah, that's true. The, the kitchen is basically unpacked mm -hmm. at this point. Um, the only kitchen box I have left is spices, but that requires building the door spice thing. Yeah, things have been going like good mm -hmm. as far as the kitchen goes, so I'm I'm happy about that. We've been making a concentrated effort to unpack pretty quickly, and I'm gonna be honest, it's happening way faster than I ever thought. Yeah, like th the house is like doo -doo 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 -doo, like getting it's the power of anime friendship, as Haley said. Yeah. <laughs> um, so it, 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 it's good. Like we're sitting on the couch and the couch is done. There's a, it's a very big couch. Mm -hmm. And it's, all, it's just the couch that we owned. We already had this. We just put it together as, instead of separating it. And uh, it, now it's real big. And uh, one of the reasons we're getting the kitchen together is because Mal is going to uh, return to streaming. On Thursday. On Thursday. So there will be another Mal stream Thursday evening. Hi, Haley. Haley, good morning. What hey, should I make on Thursday? That, that's something you gotta figure out. Also, all of the Mal, um, yeah, wait, you moved? <laughs> Haley, we were actually just talking about uh, the power of anime friendship, which was your quote, and how we've gotten so much done because of everyone else, um, which has been helpful. Yeah. I wish, you know, I wish I could show everyone the loft because the loft looks real good. Do you have a photo? <sighs> no, maybe. Okay. I don't know. Probably. I did. I posted one on Discord. Okay. Show it, coward. Um, can someone that's not me go do that? <laughs> can someone... <laughs> Chaz will find it. Chaz will find it. It's an image dump. I posted it in an image dump um, last night. Um, yeah, Alex and Haley were here two days ago. Sunday. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Alex and Haley were here on, on Sunday and put in a ton of time. Alex put up all the bookshelves. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, well, besides like a few small There notes. we go. Yeah, so this is from last night. So this is the new set coming to you very soon. But Alex and Haley worked very, very hard on the loft. And then last night, Brandon was here and helped him out build the couch. So that's the new streaming couch. Um, and that's only like one corner of the room. So I'll, I'll show you a better view um, soon. Actually, uh, all of the, the white bookshelves moved to um, <laughs> hey, I opened the kit. You did. You helped that with the helpful. couch. Um, all of the white billies are in my my office like they were at the last place. But um, there's an extra bookshelf in the loft and an extra bookshelf in my office in this place. So I have two additional bookshelves that we didn't have before that fit. And uh, as a result, we can hold more things. It's not even about holding more things. It's about yeah. like like taking what we have and separating it, separating it out because everything has been double stacked and it's been terrifying. Well, not everything will get to be single stacked. <laughs> the weavers, the, the mover, the weavers, the movers tried to wreck the wee billies, but I wouldn't let them. Yeah, Haley did um, Yeah. some work. 
They on taped stuff. them, and it was peeling off the stuff. And Haley did magic. Yeah, the white the white bookshelves needed fixed. Snack like a cloud apparition with tiny Eddie's cheesy biscuit Richies. I always snack like a cloud apparition. Do you? Mm-hmm. I had no idea. That was a bit from Shy. Who says, uh, this house was built on the power of anime friendship, and those friends run on the power of Tiny Eddie Snacks. Specifically, Cheesy Biscuit Richies. It, you know, the first part is very good. Cheesy Biscuit? Cheese Biscuit? Cheddar Biscuit? Cheddar Biscuit. But, you know, then we get to the Richie, and I'm like, I don't know about that. The, whenever Eddie came on, I was like, Eddie's very loud. Yeah. I turned Eddie down. I can hear, I can hear him. <laughs> I'll cheese your biscuit. 391 bits from Martin Zero says, I just wanted to share some good news. I submitted my final year project yesterday and I got accepted for my first job. It's only for eight weeks, but better than nothing. Yeah. Still good news. Congratulations. That's awesome. Also just submitting final year project. Like getting that off of your chest mm -hmm. is a big deal. So congrats on that. Uh, 16 months from Starlight, uh, Starlight Sovet, so, hmm. Starlight Rose VT? Yes. Thank you. 41 months from Sacroselica, 9 months from Monkey in the Moon, 7 from Luna's Book, 30 from Yoshinu, uh, 47 months from Luna Boy, 54 from Ultra Husk, 48 from Death Sun Lee, congrats on the four. Uh, 38 from Juliet 27, 43 from Fries Pikachu, 500 bits from uh, Eclipse Tech, no message, but thank you. 14 months from Brian X88, Cheese Hammer gifted a sub to Free Hammer. We'll see what you make. Is this attached to anything? Oh, okay. It's the bottom of my skirt. I was worried you were going to sit on it. No. Uh, and 300 bits from Socially Awkward Aspie says, Hello, grandparents. This month is a month of firsts for me. I got back on Twitter after years away, and I'm trying to be more active on Discord here, so hoping I keep it up. Well, good luck, and then also, you know, it's fine to take breaks from social media. Yeah. So it's not a not a big deal to step away. I've, in, in general, I find Discord to be much more fun and good and palatable than um, other other. <laughs> I mean, like Twitter especially, but even even things like Facebook. I, th I think it's uh, easier to be around. Uh, communities that you're like actively choosing yeah. to be a part of as opposed to whatever social media platform puts on its maybe you want to see this page because um, as it turns out I don't yeah I don't yeah <laughs> yeah that's a good point too or says I'm trying to take a break from Twitter now that there's uh, tears of the kingdom leaks uh, yeah I have uh, fortunately not seen anything on my whatever they call it timeline or whatever mm -hmm. but i am aware that it's like it's out there can you all believe that uh, the new zelda game will be here in like what is it 10 days yep is it 10 10 or is yeah it's 10 mm -hmm. no is it 9 10 i don't know whatever it's like not many 10 so that's um that's exciting i'm very excited about it we played Unpacking on Friday, Friday. for stream. And um, since then, we've been unpacking. Yeah, I, I on Friday stream, I was like, I think I'm gonna hopefully get a chance to like get a vlog done on a laptop. Nope. 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 My office is almost done. Good. I worked on that yesterday. Yeah, there was a, there was a lot of progress yesterday. Now. Um, I helped Mal set up the tech stuff in her office, mm -hmm. and that's all done. And then I eventually got to my office, and my office now has a computer. I can work again on my desktop, which is an advantage. Um, and, uh, you know, it's, it's, good. it's going pretty well. Jam, that'll be very last. The studio's holding all of the equipment we haven't set up yet. Yeah. That's where all the games are. Yeah, all of the all of the games had to go somewhere, so they'd be out of our way. So we put them in Mal's studio, so it would be out of the way 
it's the studio is just full of everything yeah it's not just boxes for games it's boxes for all sorts of stuff mm -hmm. it's, yeah it's basically a storage place right now and once every other room in the house is done the studio can be built Haley, so. i want you in my way <laughs> i'll get in your way in your way um so yeah, I'm uh, I'm really, really happy about how fast everything's happened. Yeah, I am too. So. I'll feel a lot better when like this floor is done. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's really getting there. Yeah. It's really getting there. Yeah. There's some other things we want to do, obviously, but like, you know, I, I think the greatest help that friends have aside from just like raw power of like there's a lot of us will do a thing mm -hmm. um is uh you know they they push you to do it because they're like oh you should do this so they like do yeah. it so okay Haley says i'd break in but i have a job now so i have to be an adult brandon's good at that because he'll just like pick things up and start putting them away even when i'm thinking we're done for tonight putting stuff away yeah. He opened a box and was just like, where does this go? And he just start putting things where he thinks they go. And it's great. <laughs> yeah, Alex Alex described it as wind in the sails. Yeah. And I was like, no, it really is. Like having someone be like, hey, you want to do this? Where normally I'd be like, I'm, I'm doing like other things and like I'm not thinking about that right now. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it is. It's easier to work on other people's yeah. stuff. So it's, it's very nice. And Haley is just like, like, takes things and like just does them like she took yeah um some of our like really old ikea stuff has gotten like dinged up over the years and she just went and like fixed things and made them look better yeah yeah which was which was cool because and it's we... things that i wouldn't bother to do because i have everything else to worry about yeah overall it's been <laughs> i just take great. things yeah you, you you did pause there and i was like Haley comes in, just takes things. <laughs> we just let her. <laughs> it's Haley. She's allowed to. She's fine. Uh, we get 11 months from Devens, 54 months from Quack Team James, and 56 months from DC20 Will Save. Thank you. Appreciate it. I mean, it's true. What Renee, Renee said? Yeah. Yeah. That's what I was Renee, just going to say. Renee says, I don't know. It's more fun to clean other people's places. If a friend is like, I need help cleaning, I can get everything done. Meanwhile, in my pigsty. Yep. Yep. I mean, I don't know what it is, but also, it that's a that's a big mood, and once you realize that that is a mood, you can use that energy with friends to help each other. Yeah. And I think that's a very valuable thing. Because our IKEA order got delivered on Saturday. Yeah. And um, half of it was the guys. Mm -hmm. And Brandon came over and helped me build like half of ours and Alex built two big things like the two most complicated things Alex built yep. and then we took all of Brandon's stuff that? Sunday Saturday Saturday God Saturday. so much has happened in three days. Yeah, we've days. taken up a lot of our friends times and then um We took Brandon all his stuff and we set up a bunch of his stuff mm -hmm. Yeah on Saturday I had to go back to the old house. So we have moved. Hmm, we've moved most everything. There's mm -hmm. still like some stuff at the old house, like a few carloads. So on Saturday, I went to the old house. Uh, Haley went with me. We got a bunch of stuff out of the old place. When we got back, Brandon and Alex and Mao had built almost all of the furniture. Yeah. And I was like, we weren't even gone that long, but they had built. Like we had, there was one piece of the couch that we needed to, to add to this. So there's for here, this couch, the corner. So they had built a corner. They had built a new table for tabletop. Mm -hmm. um, they had built two bar stools, two bar stools. Coffee and then table. also a coffee table and a calyx, and a calyx like yeah. all of that in like a very short amount of time. So when I walked in, I was like, Oh snap. And then like the Triforce house had a bunch of stuff and we're like, so after we build everything, we're like, well, let's go over to your place and build all of your stuff. So we did. And that was great. It was like so much stuff got done because everyone was just like hands on. So I loved it. I really loved it. Uh, the calyx is the thing the coffee bar is. 
K-A-L-L-A-X. It's yeah. the cube It's a two by four cube Yeah, from shape. Ikea. Yeah. Uh, we had 22 months of tier two gold toast from a Janiel. And some sort of delicious snack. You'll squeak with excitement when eating Tiny Eddie's Super Bowl toad sauce. Is it the toads that you lick and uh, you see colors? <laughs> That is the nicest way of putting that I've ever heard. My reference to that is The Simpsons. <laughs> the toads that you lick to see colors. That was a bit from Eris D, uh, who said, uh, Tiny, Tiny Eddie, it's my 27th birthday today. What do I get? What do I get? Well, first off, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Um, Super Bowl toad sauce. Special sauce created by toads. Leave Toad alone. He works for the princess. <laughs> I'm trying to watch the Super Bowl. <laughs> Sorry. The, fr the phrase, I'm trying to watch the Super Bowl. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> What are you doing under there? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> it's fine. It's it's mm. it's fine. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's... <laughs> 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 Woo. Listen, it's so good to smile and laugh. Yeah. Early morning. Um, early morning. <laughs> this is my bonus for sure. <laughs> this is my bonus! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, morning, Dan. <sighs> Listen, the only way I can explain this is, is you have to watch the, uh, the ending for Mario Galaxy 2. There's a... There's a <laughs> it's not the last episode it's, ending, it's the it's, game ending. It's when the game ends yeah. for, the, for the first time. Also the second time, but especially the, the first time. Um, How you doing, Dan? It's, uh, you know, it's a good one. Anyway... We had 51 months from Dark Nature XD, 15 months from Blatprin, and 46 months from Silvana. Thanks. And morning. I just remembered something. Making a note. You just remembered something? I need to What's that order like? something. Okay. Anyway, uh, so... Um, oh, Dan, I'm sorry. Oh, you got a filling. Well... Let me read this as if it were you speaking. It's a live feed from from of Dan, but from my 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 mouth. Uh, good vibes. A live Dan. feed of Dan from your mouth. <laughs> Reporting in. This is Dan coming live from the inside of Stephen's mouth. Uh, yeah, I haven't been to the dentist in a bit. I should go to the dentist. We need to find a dentist. Hmm. Chaz is getting a crown for the first time tomorrow. First. <laughs> Brandon. Uh, yeah, it, it's been, it's been a little bit since we, cause like we, we, we got, um, a doctor. Yes. You know, like, and, and that's one of the things about moving is it's really important to try and establish primary care quickly. So then when you need a doctor, you can just go to the doctor. Mm -hmm. Haley's goal is to call the dentist today. Yeah, there's some other stuff we have to do. I was like, we could do that. There's a there's, lot we need to there's do. There's a bunch of little things we have to do. Because there's like, there's the physical moving of like, oh, there's things that you have to put in boxes and take to yep. a new location. But then there's also like... Changing your address. There's like paperwork stuff. Yeah. And there's so much. Yeah. Um, it was really upsetting because I had actually only just finished doing it for our last place in January. Um, 
there was stuff that was like not pressing within like the first month. It was just stuff that needed to be done. And I finished it in January. And we changed renters mm. and auto insurance and they never sent us the things they're supposed to send us. So we have to call them again. Yeah. <laughs> My gift to Alex will be to schedule his dental appointment too. We'll probably just schedule ours for uh, the same time. Yeah. For a while we were not in the same like It's rotation, really convenient. And that was kind of a pain. Um, it's, it's, it's really mm -hmm. convenient and when we can do that yeah. go at the same time. I really like well, that. Well, the P.O. box change, not at this point, but always check the mail FAQ. Yeah. The, if when, we change it, it will be there yeah, as soon as we have it. There's no current plans for that, but the best source of up-to-date info is always the link in the description. So if you go to a mail video and you look in the description, it'll take you to where that address is. That's the thing I update. So as long as that says that it's there, it's fine. Also, if we ended up changing it, it stuff would still get forwarded for a time. Yeah, you know, a while. So it's not a big deal. Uh, gamers 00700 gift to sub to Dan. Thank you, gamers. We also had 31 months from Brianna 906. You can do it, Haley. Don't say anything funny. Okay. Banana. Big banana. <laughs> um, actually, are we closer to the rest of the collective than the old place? Yes. <laughs> oh no, bananas are my weakness. Um, we. Uh, I was. I was gonna. First off, yes, and that's great. Yeah. That's that's actually one of the most positive things. Yeah. Um, about about the moving is just being able to be a little bit closer to everybody. Um, but. I was, I was going to say, speaking of Big Banana, uh, we, we added, in our last place, we didn't have any magnets on the fridge. Oh. This place, we put magnets back. And also, we put the little words where you make funny fridge sentences. Fridge poetry. Fridge poetry. Mm -hmm. Yeah. IRL job job. Yeah. It's fun. It's really fun. Anyway. It's some of it's, I say some of it, most of it's lewd. But uh, the, I get that the, set was supposed to be like slightly saucy. Yeah, it's a, so, it's a, a saucy, saucy set, set. So it just, no matter what comes out that way, but yeah. Oh yeah, I made, I made a TikTok for the first time in a long time. So I was like, I, this, this will be funny. Uh, we get 300 bits of cheese sandwich says, if you ever need an emergency tooth removal, I am here to help. Who needs a dentist? Oh no. It's not my favorite way to remove teeth, but you know, it could be done. In an emergency? In an emergency. Goodbye, little green bird. We have five bits of Twilight Head. It says, morning grandparents. Since I'm awake at 7.30 for once, can I get some good vibes? Sure, good vibes. My roommate and I are staying in the hotel right now while we find a new place, but landlords here do not like cats. I, when we were searching for places, I was, I was often surprised at the amount of places that did not accept cats, but did accept dogs. Yeah. And I was like, I don't understand that. I, that, that part's a little, a little confusing to me. Mm -hmm. um, like if, if it's like no pets, cool. Yeah. But if it's like, you can have a, a dog, but you cannot have a cat. I'm like, whoa, but why though? Mm -hmm. And that's actually something we saw a lot of. It's like, you can have, you can have a dog, but you can't have a cat. And I'm like, anyway, but they're out there. So like, I'm, I'm sending you vibes so you can f stumble across something that'll, yeah. that'll work for you. Um, I don't know. Pers my, my personal opinion is that children destroy houses way more than pets do. <laughs> Brandon so has a good point. Any any landlord that's allowing children in a home Brandon has should a good probably point. allow pets. Sometimes they've I've heard that too. Some landlords were disappointed I didn't have kids. They were like, well, so you have kids? Like some people want kids in the house because that's they they like the idea of there being like a family in a house. What does it mean? I've heard of it. And well, I've heard of that with people buying houses too. They just like the idea yeah. of a family? Yeah. 
are they going to join the family? Like, are the people no. that sell the house are going to be like, now I'll give you two weeks, but then I'm moving in. <laughs> you know what people like more? Money. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's a bizarre, bizarre thing. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm aware that like, Renee, I'll bother. I'll bother. I'll borrow your children for a while. <laughs> Brent says, unfortunately, it is legal for them to do that in North Carolina. Fun. <laughs> Dan says Brandon is him and Josh's kid. Yeah. Okay. That's a family unit. Yeah. That's a family unit right there. We we have a family unit. Us and Kepler? Yeah. Yeah. Family unit. Hmm. Anyway, it yeah, it's um I don't know, that part. <laughs> Just invite Jules over. That part sucks. <laughs> sure. Just come on over. Um, yeah, we didn't have that problem for no. this place, fortunately. But sometimes, yeah, that's a that's a thing. Where is Kepi? I think he's in the sun. I can't see into the sunroom from here. That's where I think he is, though. There's a sunroom. It's behind this wall. Yeah. I also can't. Uh, fart. I'm remembering. I can't adjust this camera wirelessly because mm -hmm. the Wi-Fi chip in it never worked from the time I got it. It's under warranty. I can send it in. What does it say? <laughs> Haley. <laughs> Haley. <laughs> well, the one single dentist I called isn't seeing new patients at this time, so I guess I should put this off for months. Also a mood, but yeah, maybe one more. Fight into a scrumptiousness might with Tiny Eddie's decadent velvety young raspberry cream chewies. That's a mouthful. Yeah. It's from Leaf. Uh, good morning and good vibes to everyone. I hope you are starting your day right with this special Tiny Eddie snack. Young, velvety, decadent, velvety, young raspberry cream chewies. Decadent, velvety, young raspberry cream chewies. <laughs> It's still echoing. It won't matter on Thursday, yeah. but it's, it's upsetting. Yeah, actually, that doesn't sound bad. No. So, like, these are good words. These are the good words. I like the good words. Sometimes it's like, you know, linoleum. <laughs> I'll just stop there. <laughs> Sometimes it's just linoleum. Tiny Eddie presents linoleum. Chaz, is there a way for it to just give one noun? <laughs> Can it just be linoleum? Tiny Eddie's <laughs> koala linoleum <laughs> slop. That's fine. We got 22 months from Breathe Wildly. Thank you. <laughs> linoleum in a jar. Did I ever tell you that linoleum is a word that I know how to spell? Because that's the, that's the word that I got out in the state spelling bee. Oh, no, I did not also, know. Also, did you know that I was in the state spelling bee? I knew that you were in that, but I yeah. did not know linoleum was the word. Spelling was like my strongest mm -hmm. um, subject in school. And I was in the state spelling bee when I was in fifth grade. It was a, that was which really weird because it was available to students of all ages, but at that level it was um, like everyone. Ah. So like fifth graders and I want to say it went all the way to high school, like fifth graders and and seniors were like competing at the same level, which is insane yeah. in hindsight. I'm like, why did they do that? Uh, anyway, but it was like everyone. Um, and I was, you know, I survived a, a few rounds, which is pretty good for a little fifth grader. But the, the word that I got out on was linoleum. Did they accidentally think you were in high school? <laughs> Maybe that was the problem. <laughs> Maybe that was it. 
uh, yeah, I always, you know, I, I always did pretty well in school mm -hmm. until math, um, until, until math added letters, but uh, spelling was always my strongest subject. I was terrible at spelling. Guess what, baby? You spell for me? If you, if you're Cereal like, spell for me. Oh yeah, I guess you could do that too. Um, yeah, if, yeah. If you need something spelled, I can just be like, "This is this is how you do it." I can I can spell the words. You know who else is good at spelling, and it's probably a very good thing. Juliet. Mm. Juliet's very good at spelling. Um, like, they do all of the shorts. Yeah. And like I, I don't think I've ever seen a single typo in this in like any of the shorts yeah i know i i just like completely jinxed them now which is bad but like the, the shorts are when you have to put like when you're putting like lots of text yeah. on something like having a good sense of spelling is good and juliet knows how to spell things really good which is great yeah um oh what else was i gonna uh mention Oh, um, so the loft is coming together. Yeah. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to try and maybe have, I mean, it's up, it's up to them and their schedule, but I'm going to maybe try and have Alex and Haley back over this evening to finish up the loft in the office and get mm -hmm. the, the final billies like up on the wall, mm -hmm. which would be great. Um, and at that if you point, manage to get this stuff out of here, that one could also get attached. Well, yeah. Well, all of this stuff goes in the loft. Yeah, I know. Yeah. So the idea is that if we can get all the billies done and all of the, like the furniture stuff's done, then I can put all the equipment in there. Yeah. Um, and I have a little, I have a few worries about the equipment because, um, I mean, I don't know if y'all remember or not, but in our last place, um, there was a stream, I think it was Trombone Champ. But there was a stream where the power went out. It was trombone champ. There's a stream where the power went out and we were like, ah, oh, the power went out. And then we realized the power didn't go out. It was just the room we were in. The breaker. We, we hit, we, what do they call that? Blew the breaker? Yeah. And um, that was bad. So what I ended up doing is um, I separated out where all the power stuff was going. The baboons killed it. That is what happened. Um, I, I had things on a bunch of different plugs, mm -hmm. including in other rooms, so they'd be on different breakers and um, or on different fuses, I guess is the right word for that. And this place, um, I, 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 I don't have that because we put up a lot of bookshelves. So the problem is that <laughs> We only have one outlet. I suggested that you uh, get a thing to deal with that, and you didn't. Vagabond, have you tried running the oven and the microwave at the same time, though? Yes, that we does did. work, thankfully. Also, did what, not what, trip what, the breaker. What, what, are you, what are you talking about? I was like, you could get something for that, or like plug something in. Get something for what? The, the out, other outlets, so you would have had outlets. What does that mean? There's things that you could have like gotten that are flat plugs that you could have put in behind the billies and then ran a cord out. Oh, that's what you mean. Yeah. Um, eh. I worst, suggested that worst, <laughs> it didn't happen. Worst case scenario, mm -hmm. we have to pull a billy out from the wall. Yeah. Which actually will be impossible because I don't know where the outlets are. I did film a walkthrough video, yeah. So, so I could probably guess mm -hmm. where it is, though. So that's fine. Um, yeah, we'll. Um, I'm hoping that it won't be a huge problem. Yeah, we'll see what. But happens. I also, I also don't know. I, I'm also not sure. Um, worst case scenario, we can run an extension cable into another room. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, it's fine. They're called six ways. You mean a power strip? 
is, is six ways a colloquial way of saying power strip? <laughs> I've never heard of that. Um, anyway, um, yeah, we'll, um, we'll be in the loft on Thursday. I'm speaking it into existence. Okay. So. <laughs> Haley. I picked a different dentist, but they don't open for 15 minutes. So I should put this call off for months, right? No, 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 no. Here. I'm gonna help you out. Remind me in 15 minutes to tell Haley to call the dentist. Got you, fam. That's that's how we'll solve this problem. I'll take I'll take care of you. Just I'll remind you in 15 minutes. No. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I really have to send it to the camera <laughs> if I'm ever going to get it fixed. It's fine. Uh, we had 38 months from Reyost. Appreciate it. Thank you. Um, yeah, no, but with hearts this time. <laughs> I can't force you to make the call, but I can remind you. Yeah. I can be like, hey, they're open. Now you can call. Uh... So yeah, um, Thursday we'll be doing a stream in the loft, which I'm very excited about. Mm -hmm. um, hopefully nothing will explode. That'll be great. And then Thursday night, um, mouse stream. Yeah. Downstairs. Yeah. And uh, you know, on Friday we're gonna be completely set up in the loft as a test run because um, Zelda is next week. It is. So we have to, you know, I, I don't know exactly what we're going to do, but I know that it's going to involve the green screen and it's going to involve a Switch game because I, I want to make it like... As close to how Zelda setup is going to yeah, be. Yeah, I want to test it as close as we can. <laughs> More Chaz. Chaz, you, you, you've done great. I got a chance to see the, uh, the new Tears of the Kingdom alert in action yesterday and it's really great. It is great. Yeah, and uh, actually, there's more. Um, there's more to do, and Chaz actually needs my help on more stuff. And like, I will get there. I will get there. I promise. Yesterday at 1 p.m., we had our our meeting, and several different people needed things for me. And uh, it was at one o'clock, and I was like, I'll have my computer set up in like two hours. And at 10 p.m. last night, I got my computer set up. So I thought it would take two hours, and it took nine. And that's just, it did, and it's not that it took nine hours to set up the computer, but like there were so many other things. You set up my computer, we had dinner. Yeah, there were other mm -hmm. things that had to be done. Um, it was fine. It also takes a long time. It took me long, longer to set up my stuff than I thought. Yeah. Um, like, there's so many cables. Like, you have to connect things with cables. Mm -hmm. Which, first off, that's a mistake. Wireless everything. I mean, in the future. Wireless power. In the future. The future will be great. We're not there yet. But it took so long. Did you try eating? I did not. I didn't do that. Yeah, Mousestream this week will probably be cooking, yeah. Nothing um, else is set up in the house There's at all. Yeah. I will say, however, though, I will say that we have started the process. Did you try crying? A all lot. The, all the time. <laughs> all the time. It's been a lot of crying. Um, sometimes that's helpful. Uh, I will say that Tabletop is actually in the process of getting set back up, yeah. though. That was one of the things Brandon helped with last night. So, um, yeah, that's, it, that's going. The next step for, for all of, we pulled all the stuff out of the dining room and Mal did the floor last night so it could dry overnight. And at this point, we have a rug that we need to clean. Mm -hmm. And then once we clean it, we'll put it down in there and start doing the room up again. So yeah, I, I don't know when, I don't know when there will be a tabletop stream. Yeah. Um, it, there, it may not be in May, but it's it's happening slowly, <clears throat> slowly but surely, and I'm excited about that. 
Seize your sunset's dignity with Tiny Eddie's Dune Grown Prune Wafers. Dune Grown. The taste is in the shape. Any fans of Dune? That was a bit from Ken One Noob. My girlfriend and I just got our third guinea pig a week ago. We got the first two back in February. Yesterday we found out that one of them was pregnant and out popped three little guinea piglets. So, uh, Tiny Eddie, what should we feed our six little piggies? Have you considered dune grown prune wafers? Have you also, I'm so glad that this is the one opportunity where Tiny Eddie didn't be like, have you considered guinea pigs? Like, <laughs> how about cannibalism? Um, dune grown prune wafers. You know, do we still have our prunes? We do. I uh, ate like... Brandon unpacked the pantry and like held them and I was like, have you had one? I think he was like, yes. We, st we st you know, <laughs> time to make them into wafers. <laughs> Haley, I'm down. I haven't seen Dune, but I've, I've heard from Haley um, that it's a, a positive experience. I'm not going to read the book because that requires more time than I have, but I will watch a film. So I'm down, I'm down to do that. That would be fun. I'm also down to prune. Go get one. No, I, I got stuff to do today. <laughs> NDL, watch a movie. <laughs> I want to. I want to. I actually, actually, we have a plan. Um, I have, I have made a movie plan mm -hmm. with some people. I have a plan to watch a movie with Josh, uh -huh. Brandon, and uh -huh. Alex. Mm -hmm. We're gonna, we're, the four of us are gonna watch a movie at some point. When we get a little more settled in, we're gonna watch a movie. And you, Haley and Dan are gonna not be anywhere around. Who does that leave out? That is seven. Oh, I didn't count you. Because you said you were going to watch a movie with them, so I didn't count you. I counted the names, and you was not a name, so my brain didn't click. The six of you at a theme park. No, wait, no, wait. I can make this better. The six of you at an airport on in the, in the plane, mm -hmm. arrive at the airport, and then you're like, where's Kevin? It's fine. Uh, 100 bits from the thrill of. 23 months from Wolfly 1513. 56 months from Fossix. We got 300 bits of MemTap and it says, this will probably be the last cheer for quite a while. Lots going on. Commencement on Saturday morning where I will be hooded with my doctorate. And awesome. Then, then I'm moving back home in July while I look for a full-time job. Lots of good vibes. Please and thank you. See you soon. Good vibes and also congrats. Yeah. That's fantastic. Super fantastic. Yeah, I'm wishing you well. You should feel very, uh, very proud and accomplished. And good luck getting getting some work. Uh, okay. Um, also, the other thing I forgot to mention. What? I am told that tonight at 9 p.m. I'm told at 9 p.m. sharp. Mm. 9 p.m. sharp. We will be doing disc only. Like I'm gonna be on the call at like 8.50. And at 9 p.m. sharp. And at 9 p.m. sharp, <clears throat> we're going live. Y'all can hold us to that. <clears throat> I mean, you can't really hold me to it. You'll be there. I'll, but I'll be there and you know, you know I will be. Uh, so yeah, starting hopefully, what are you going to do alone for 20 minutes, Brandon? <laughs> Brandon. Uh, yeah, I'm hoping that we will actually start. We had a conversation about it. It started at, uh, 9 PM sharp and do the, and do the show. Pro probably. Do you know what I'm doing today? I do know a little bit about what you're doing today. I'm very excited. I'm, I, I heard that you're going to the store with I Jepson. I am going to the store with Jepson. Because Jepson has an interest in gardening. Well, I'm going to be gardening, like, regardless. And Josh was like, I'm interested in learning about this. And I'm like, come with me. 
Yeah. Josh has got, um, <clears throat> or the guys have a a little porch where you could grow something. Yeah. You know? And uh, I was like, yeah, that's, that's a good place to mm -hmm. do it. So, <laughs> come with me if you want to garden. I think he wants to, does he want to do tomatoes? Yeah. Yeah. That's a, I mean, and tomatoes are good. They're easy. Mm -hmm. um, and if they don't get eaten up by bugs, then they produce like usually tons of, yeah. of tomatoes, especially like cherries. God, cherries are good. We're doing cherries. We're gonna grow cherries. I love it. Yeah. Did we tell them that we have a garden? I don't know. We, we, have, a we have a garden. Like the house. Like came, a raised garden. The house came with a raised garden, mm -hmm. which was real cool. Like there was already things I liked about the house um, when we looked at it. Yeah. Uh, I mean, the, having a screened-in patio is great. Yeah, it is. Great. God, I want. I. Mm, we actually uh, we just ordered some. Uh, patio furniture because we haven't had patio furniture in forever and um, We just ordered some patio furniture to actually use the patio. So that'll be happening soon mm -hmm. and uh, I loved that but then the other thing that Mao was really drawn to was the sunroom and the garden. Yeah, and um, Yeah, it's Nice that that's here because Mao can do some gardening stuff What happened to the tomato plants in the move? They don't live more than a year. So yeah. That was last summer. Um, we'll see if it's, I don't know what the Wi-Fi situation is, but you know, maybe, maybe there will be a stream at some point in the future where you do a gardening. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. We'll say, we'll put a maybe on that. That'll be fun. It'll be on the vlog at least. Yeah. There's, there's opportunities. Outdoor breakfast stream one day. Maybe. Yeah. We'll, we'll just go sit out there. Yeah. That doesn't seem impossible. <laughs> Might do it a little more lo-fi. Just have like the laptop and use the yeah. the laptop's webcam or something. But there's opportunities for those sorts of things, which I'm, you know, ultra husk excited about. Luca and I talk about that all the time. Yeah, we haven't done a house tour yet. There's vlogs that will be coming out. I'm I'm back to work today. Finally, oh my god! Ah, internal screaming. I'm back to work today, and I have some vlogs that will be coming out pretty soon that show off the house. So be on the lookout for that. I can't show the house off on the stream because it's too difficult yeah. to do that. Um, but at some point I'll get the opportunity to, to show everything. So I'm, I'm really looking forward, really looking forward to that because I want everyone to see it. Patrons have seen it. Actually, speaking of, I realized today's the uh, the second, so I, it's it's time for another Patreon mm -hmm. video. Um, it, it might be a few days, this like this week for yeah. sure, and hopefully within just the next two or three days. But there's a lot going on, and I um, I'm going to try and make some progress on some things. But there will be a, a Patreon video soon. Yeah, there is not a vlog in 30 minutes. There is no vlogs. <laughs> there's no vlog scheduled. Um, yeah. My, my intention had been to uh, use the laptop and work on some stuff, and uh, I never had the opportunity because we've been so busy for the past. There's been a lot. Every day has uh -huh. felt like two days, but yep. the advantage is that, like, things are happening. Like, this is done, and the, the loft is almost done, mm -hmm. and, um... My office know. is almost done. Yeah, so there's a lot of things that have happened. The bedroom is done besides, like, putting clothes away. Button. Cause you gotta put them all on hangers. Yeah. Fold them nice back to go in the dresser. Yeah, it's it's you know, it's going. What are you planning to use the garden for? Tomatoes mostly. What else do you want to grow? Uh, I'm gonna grow some peppers. Yeah. Bell for sure. And then I'm gonna see what they have. I'd like to grow green beans, but I need to get more trellises, and that's a lot. So maybe not beans this year, but um, I was thinking maybe. Honeydew melon. Okay. Yeah. I mean, do do the things that make you happy. Yeah. You know, if it's a lot of work, you can always save it for yeah. another season. Yeah. So that's, that's fine. How's the climate for strawberries? Great. But it's past strawberry time. Strawberries would be fun. Uh, maybe next winter. Like, because they go in April. Or not April. I think January is when they get planted. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited. Um, 
I'm excited for all of that. Mm -hmm. It's, you know, this was stressful. I, I, I want to definitely really write that uh, being, being forced to move is a stressful thing, even if we, you have time, and we did. They gave us a fair bit of time to do it, but it was, it was a stressful experience. And in spite of that, things are leveling out pretty quickly. Yeah. So I'm, I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. I am looking forward um, to like <laughs> working. <laughs> And it's not done. It's true. Well, maybe you and maybe you and Alex can come over tonight, and we'll finish the the loft in my office. So that we can have a alphabetizing party this weekend. I mean, that's what we need to do. Yeah. And if we're gonna buy any UV stuff for windows. Yeah. We should do that too. Yeah, but we need a ladder. <laughs> have to get a ladder. Slide into Alex's DMs. I, I mean, I think you have permission to slide into Alex's DMs. I think you're allowed to do that. We are going to have a an alphabetizing party, though. Like, we're going to have everyone come over and... Alphabetize. And alphabetize video games. It's kind of fun. Yeah. Honestly. Mm -hmm. The Wii games are already in alphabetical order. Like, we kept them... In alphabetical we order. and Wii U, everything else Nothing needs else to be is. alphabetized. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Uh, yeah, we'll um, we'll get some stuff done this weekend. Yeah. And before that, we've only lived here a few days. I know. When did we move? Thursday. Wow. It hasn't even been a week. Wow. I know. Wow. Yeah. That's amazing. Uh huh. Jeez. Anyway, so yeah. That's interesting, Pichu Pal. I always flip flop on Zelda games under T or L. Oh, um, L. See, I was thinking Z or L. Yeah. Kepler. What you doing? Something well, fell. Be in there, and that just is something that I don't know. Yeah, I um, yeah, you skip. Well, yeah, typically, I mean, you can alphabetize things however you'd like. Yeah. Typically, you skip the. So I would put Legend of Zelda under L, um, but you could. I, I've seen people put Zelda under Z. Yeah. And like, that's fine. The the here's the thing. The thing about alphabetizing is that the most important thing is that you know where something is. Yep. That's the most important thing. So if your brain goes, I want to play Zelda, and you and your first thought is Z, then it sh yep. for you it should go under Z. If your first thought is Zelda, but then your brain quickly says that will be L for Legend of Zelda, then it should go under L, I guess. Um, yeah, but I have all about, of mine filed under L. What about games like the Lord of the Rings series? Sorry, I just wanted to point out, Renee says there are people who don't organize at all. They are monsters. Some of them run game stores. Not Player's Choice. Player's Choice alphabetizes their stuff. But I have been in game stores that nothing, nothing was alphabetized. And I have left because it is infuriating. And that's another, that's a pet peeve of Roland's too. Roland's like, I'll go into a store. He's like, and he's like, I'll alphabetize their stuff. He's like, because I'm looking for like certain things or whatever. He's like, it drives me nuts. Um, yeah, it's. But I was saying, when you aggravating. have a series, mm -hmm. like Lord of the Rings, and it's like Lord of the Rings Two Towers, Lord of the Rings The Fellowship of the Ring, Do are you... they alphabetized or are they in series order? Um, I tend to prefer series order. Uh-huh. Unless I'm not familiar with the series. Okay. Because if I'm not familiar with the series, then it doesn't mean anything to me. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. So like if if I know what it is, then I'll be like, oh well this was the second game or the, the fourth movie or like whatever. Yeah. Then yeah. 
But if I am not familiar with it, then I'm going to put it in alphabetical order because I'm not going to take the time to look up the series order. That's my takeaway on it. So, but I don't do I don't do series order for anything that's not a series. I'm trying to find an example of that. Like if you had I don't know, if you had like multiple Zelda games on a system, which yeah. some systems do. Yeah. I wouldn't put them in like release order. No. That would be wild. Yeah. They would go in alphabetical order. Yeah, I agree. But if it's something that, you know, was different than that. What about Just thing. Dance? Are they in chronological? Um, I believe it's Just Dance, Just Dance 1, Just Dance 2, Just, Just Dance Just Dance are in alphabetical order. And then they go into the years at some point. Yeah, they're not in chronological. They're in alphabetical order. Yeah. But it's fine. With, with... The you Just know what the hard games are? Are the sports games. Because it's like... NFL. I will put the I will put the the sports games in um, series order. Yeah, but there are some times where they'll throw like some weird word in to mess up alphabetical order. Well, the other thing is that there's there's series like you know the Madden games, right? Yeah. Madden might do the full year like 2008, yeah, like 2007, 2008, but then they might go Madden 09. Yeah, clearly that goes after 2008. Yeah. I'm not going to put that at the beginning because it starts with a zero and not a two. Like that, that would be absurd to me. You have to do it. It's fine. It's totally fine. Oh, hey, um, call the dentist. Sorry, just need to remind you to call the dentist. Yeah. Um, they're definitely open now. So if you just, if you just call the dentist, I want to give them, <clears throat> I want to give them a little call. Yeah. Just a little call. A little call. Yeah. Just so you can, um, in before no just i'm just trying to help i'm just trying to uh i'm not working <laughs> okay well i did my part i did my part cheese hammer gifted a sub to roland thank you cheese hammer i'm literally working uh well also congrats on job yeah because Haley, 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 you know did uh is 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 working now so congrats on that but you're but now your job's keeping you from calling dentists later on a break i guess later on a break yeah later on a break it's fine uh also 51 months from uh opi ssbm appreciate it and uh that's it quick reminder about um you know Everything going things. on mm -hmm. tonight at 9 p.m. sharp. <sighs> Disco only. Uh, Thursday at 9, 9 a.m. Eastern uh, breakfast stream in our new setup, which I'm excited about. Um, Thursday at, let's say, 7 p.m. Eastern. Uh -huh. Maybe slightly subject to change, but that's what we've been hitting lately. Yeah. Uh, Mal stream, some sort of cooking something or other mm -hmm. in the new kitchen. That'll be fun. And then Friday evening at uh, 8 p.m. Eastern, although we always typically start a little, a little bit earlier than that, uh, a game. A game. A game. A game. We don't know what game. Yeah. But a, a, a game. A game that is probably played on the Switch, probably has a fair bit of m motion, which is actually one mm -hmm. of the things that I think about, is, is something that has a lot of motion. Um, yeah, yeah, Jam was saying on Discord, just play Breath of the Wild, and I was like, it's honestly not even a bad idea. No, it's not. It's not even a bad idea, because that's the thing that is most similar to Tears of the Kingdom, so. Hey, Masay! Good morning, Masay! The move has been actually remarkably smooth. Mm-hmm. It really has. It's been remarkably smooth. I cannot complain. I've been very, very happy. Uh, lots of stuff has been getting done. We've only lived here since Thursday and there's so much already done. So I'm very, very happy about it. Uh, but yeah, Friday, uh, a Something. game. Something. A game with a green screen on the Switch to test all of that. And then by that point, we'll be into next week. Yeah. And even more will have happened in the in the house so 
If you complained, I would be hurt. Uh, it's a, you. No, no sane person would complain about the progress that's been done in yeah. four days, five days. It is remarkable. It is absolutely remarkable. So, more soda Friday. <laughs> you know, you know, we have not had those in the house in a very long time like a decade yeah well over a decade i yeah. think that there was a, there was an assumption that you know i should understand what those are because of you yeah and the fact of the matter is like mal that th those were not something maybe like the first month that we were dating or something yeah. there's there there's alternatives to to tampons and we haven't had tampons in the house basically ever. I mean, there's a few in like, I have a little thing in the guest bathroom. Yeah. But. So like, just saying. I, I think that maybe there was a slight misunderstanding of like, ah, this is something that like, Steven. Is normally regularly in the house and you still don't know? I mean like, yeah. no. No, like that's 15, not it. Like in 15 years, you know, we, we've, never had them in the house like other than for guests yeah liberty so i mean not anymore but before <laughs> yeah so yeah i mean i'll yeah obviously like his direct to me yeah um yeah Haley. yeah <laughs> team cup pre-surgery yeah team cup <laughs> yeah so uh yeah we you're you're lucky that i identified it at all <laughs> I saw the coloring of the packaging and I was like, why is there Pepsi here? And I stared at it for a long time before I saw the string and I was like, ah, yeah. My brain had to process, had to process that. Hopefully that gives a little more context, a little more context to why Steven can't identify tampons. It's, it's that there haven't been any in like ever, Yeah. basically ever. The more you know, um, okay. We can go ahead and wrap up um, stream. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna. We got an errand to run, and then. I after don't like that. my car. You don't like the bubbles? <laughs> so most people like most people like the the we fizz. We need to end the stream. Um. Yeah. We'll, we'll be, <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. We'll see y'all on Thursday. And again, we'll, we'll be in the new spot unless something goes terribly awry. And I'm really looking forward to it. All right. That's it. Uh, I hit it with my toe. Can't believe it. <laughs>